Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Page, and welcome to Bill Caton's Primetime Boxing, the original blow-by-blow -blow ringside broadcasts of legendary fights by Don Dunphy, the all-time champ of boxing commentators. Your host, Bill Caton, creator and producer of television's greatest fights of the century, boxing's all-time most successful program, has also managed such outstanding champions as Wilfred Benitez, Edwin Rosario, Mike Tyson, Tommy Morrison, Omar Shika, and Vinny Pacienza. Bill has been named Manager of the Year an unprecedented 14 times by such prestigious boxing organizations as the WBC, the WBA, and the Boxing Writers of America. And now, here's Bill Cate. Thank you, Bob. I am delighted to present Primetime Boxing, featuring Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson, Rocky Marciano, and the other legendary fighters in the greatest fights in boxing history. Now, here is the fourth fight between Sugar Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta, February 23rd, 1945. This bout to be described by Don Dunphy. His unparalleled knowledge and accuracy, Dunphy's enthusiasm and superb professionalism brought boxing's most thrilling bouts alive for millions of fight fans. We now present the never-filmed fight between Jake LaMotta, boxing's famous raging bull, and Sugar Ray Robinson, the man Bill Caton feels is boxing's all-time greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter. Sugar Ray and Jake LaMotta were completely different kinds of fighters. Sugar Ray, a welter at this time, was a sharpshooter, a boxer-puncher who could hit from every angle. LaMotta, a full-fledged middleweight, was a brawler, who crouched low and tried to bull his way inside. Contrasting styles make for the great rivalries in boxing. Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier were one example. Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta another. Sugar Ray, the Harlem dancing master, and LaMotta, the so aptly called Bronx Bull, fought each other a total of six times. Robinson won five, but LaMotta says that he was robbed of the decision on a couple of occasions and that the final score should have been three wins each. Only the last of those six Robinson LaMotta fights was ever filmed. Now for the first time you will see the fourth Robinson LaMotta fight on radio as we bring you Don Dumphy's unforgettable blow-by-blow -blow commentary direct from ringside at Madison Square Garden in New York. LaMotta and Robinson were both 21 years old when they met for the first time at Madison Square Garden on October 2nd, 1942. Sugar Ray won a 10-round unanimous decision, but LaMotta came back to outpoint Robinson at Detroit's Olympia Stadium four months later, knocking Ray through the ropes with a right to the body and a left to the head near the end of round eight. Robinson was still outside the ring, his legs across the bottom rope when the bell sounded, ending the round as referee Sam Hennessy's count reached nine. It was Robinson's first loss after 40 straight wins as a pro. Robinson and LaMotta fought again at the same place just three weeks later. Again, LaMotta knocked down Robinson, this time for an eight count with a left to the head in round seven. The decision, however, went to Sugar Ray. That brings us to their fourth fight. Another 10-rounder held this time back at Madison Square Garden on February 23rd, 1945. Take it away, Don Dumpy. LaMotta moves out of the center, moves, goes into a bob and weave, and then comes in fast with a left hook to the body, which is blocked by Robinson. Then LaMotta, catching up with the fleet ray, pounds a right to the body. Robinson, very cool, a picture boxer, stands off, jabs twice with a left to the nose of LaMotta, then another left jab to the nose, and Robinson gets away from a wide hook. LaMotta is winging away with both hands, but so far he hasn't been able to land effectively. Now he comes in close, ripping home a left hand of the midsection of the much lighter Robinson. And right, Robinson brings up a right uppercut, which grazes the chin. LaMotta into a bob and weave, much the shorter of the two, though nine and a half pounds heavier. Stops his man, comes in, takes a left jab high on the head, and then hooks the left, which is blocked by the right glove of Robinson. Then LaMotta going in, catches up with Robinson, roughs him up, and pounds two left hands to the body. It's going to be a fast fight if these opening moments are any criterion of what's going to come. Robinson with a left jab on the nose. Ray moves around, feints the right hand, doesn't throw it, puts the left jab on the chin. Robinson then fires the right hand, which just grazes the chin of Jacob LaMotta. LaMotta boring his way in slowly, gets away from a left jab, takes another light left jab on the forehead. Robinson stands up straight, a picture boxer all the way. LaMotta down low, is ripped with a right to the jaw, and then fires a right to the body a bit too late as Robinson went back from the blow. Then Robinson is in with a sharp left hook, 
and he blocked the return left by Lamata. And Lamata then crashes the left hook on the jaw of Robinson, which Robinson took going away. Bray comes back with two left jabs high on the forward. And Jake comes in, blocking another left jab thrown by Robinson. Bray dances up and down, bides his time. He's very nimble, very fleet of foot. Lamata bulls his way in slowly, taking a left jab on the nose. Lamata's trying to get in close, and he does, and hooks a hard left to the chin of Robinson. Robinson took that blow without a return and then went back to jabbing, and he's short with a jab and is ripped with a left hand of the body. And Lamata going in, pounds another right hand to the body. They go into a clinch now and are parted by the referee, Eddie Joseph. Lamata goes down deep in the crouch, comes in, hooks the left to the body and brings another left to tie on the head of Ray Robinson. And Robinson goes back to pecking with that left. Two more hard jabs by Robinson on the chin. He faints the right hand. Lamata gets back out of trouble. Lamata runs smack into a left jab on the nose. And now there's a deep gash uh, cut on the hairline of Jake Lamata on the forehead. And a stream of blood is trickling down and his face is pretty red from the blood now. And a lot of the blood is on Robinson. Robinson jabs with the left and Lamata goes in working a left and a right to the body and pumping a short right to the head of Robinson. About half a minute to go in this fight. There's Robinson with a sharp right to the jaw, a right cross, and Lamotte going in, bangs away with a right to the body before going into a clinch where he's tied up by Robinson. The handlers of Lamotte are going to have a time stemming the flow of blood when he gets back to his corner at the end of the round. Lamotte is in with a jab and is beaten to the punch with a right uppercut to the jaw by Robinson. And then Lamotte comes in, works on the body with a series of lefts and rights. And Ray, very thin around the midsection, takes the blows, and there's the bell. Stay tuned for round two of Robinson Lamata 4 on Bill Caton's Primetime Boxing. Welcome back to Primetime Boxing. Here again, Bill Caton. Neither Sugar Ray Robinson nor Jake Lamata had won world championship titles at this stage of their careers. Robinson, who turned pro in 1940, would win the world welterweight title by outpointing Tommy Bell in December of 1946 and go on to win the world middleweight title a remarkable five times. Lamata would win the middleweight crown by stopping Marcel Serdan in 1949. He would lose it two years later to, you guessed it, Sugar Ray Robinson. Now, round two of Robinson Lamata 4 on Primetime Boxing. Boys go back into action out in the center. Lamata faints the left hand, doesn't throw it. Robinson short with two left leads. And he short with two more. Then he puts a left jab on the chin. Lamata down deep and a bob and a weave and a crouch. Accentuating his shortness comes in with a hard left hook to the midsection. Then he wails away with a right. And Robinson keeping on the move and as Bill told you, counter punching very sharply. Now Robinson throws a right hand over the head. And Lamata going into a clinch rips two rights to the body of Ray Robinson. The boy is hurt so far, and that cut hasn't been opened on Lamata's head so far in this round. Lamata coming in in a bob and wave, throws a left hook, which bounces on Ray's head, and then he pounds the right to Ray's rib. Now Jake comes in very slowly. Robinson backing away, biding his time, both arms moving. Tries to keep Lamata off of the left jab, and Lamata rushes in, flailing away to the body with lefts and rights, most of which are partially blocked by Robinson. Robinson is then shot with a left jab thrown at the chin. Lamata down deep in a crouch. Robinson much the taller, is straight up, boxing beautifully. Jab through the left, high on the head. Lamata comes swinging in and hooks the left, which may have hurt Robinson because he got back out of there in a hurry. Then Lamata's in with a right and a left to the body and another right to the body by Lamata. Robinson, meanwhile, backing his way into the rope, spearing away with a left jab on the point of the chin of Lamata. Lamata goes down deep again, gets away from two left jabs, goes to work his way in. Robinson keeps on the move, dancing up and down, in and out, jabbing twice to the nose with a the left. Then Lamata is short with his own left lead, but Lamata finds the body with a sharp right hand. Then he comes in with a wild left hand, which goes over Robinson's head, and Ray goes into a clinch. This round, round two of a ten-rounder here in the garden, is about half gone. Robinson short with a left lead. Lamata trying to get in close to do a lot of damage and make a use of that nine-and-a-half-pound weight advantage of his. Lamata comes in and is hooked with a left hand high on the head. Then Robinson jabs to the nose with the left and takes a wild right to the body from Lamata. Lamata then keeps his right hand up high to get away from a left hook. Lamata going in close, hooks the left to the body. Then Robinson opens up, fires the left hook and crosses the right to the jaw. Returns three left jabs on the chin of Lamata. Lamata coming in, wings away with a right hand to the body, and Robinson goes into a clinch. Third man in the ring is Eddie Joseph, and there's Robinson dancing away from a left hook thrown at his head and spearing with a left jab on the nose and bringing up a right uppercut to the chin, another 
straight up a cut to the body by Ray Robinson. And LaMotta takes those blows without a, a grimace on his poker face. Robinson in close with a left hook to the head and a right cross to the body of LaMotta. LaMotta coming in across the ring, takes two left jabs on the nose. Robinson constantly on the move, a thing of beauty in the ring. And then LaMotta catches up with him and nails him with two sharp left hooks on the jaw. And Robinson goes into a clinch. Another left hook by LaMotta is wild, but he rips two rights to the body in the end fighting. And he hooks the left under the heart. And then LaMotta going in, throws the left hook, which is blocked by Robinson's arm. Robinson backing away near the ropes, comes in with a hard left hook to the jaw and takes the left hook. And they slug it out at the bell. We'll be right back with round three of Robinson LaMotta 4 on Bill Caton's Primetime Boxing. Welcome back to Primetime Boxing. The fight you are hearing Don Dumphy describe so masterfully drew over 18,000 people to Madison Square Garden on February 23rd, 1945. Sugar Ray Robinson, the uncrowned welterweight champion of the world, was outweighed by nine and a half pounds on this occasion, yet he was the favorite, four to one. This was Robinson's ninth fight since his discharge from the Army and his first bout in the garden since his unanimous decision over Henry Armstrong on August 27, 1943. Now, back to Don Dunphy for round three of Robinson LaMotta 4. Out in the center again, Robinson goes into his move, dancing up and down, jabs with the left, blocks a long left hook thrown at his head by LaMotta. LaMotta down deep in the crouch, bobbing and weaving again. Blocks a light left jab, then takes another left jab to the head. Meanwhile, flailing with a right to the body and taking a right to the body from Robinson. LaMotta is starting to throw his right hand more now, and he's pecked away with that left jab by Robinson. Two left jabs, then a left hook to the jaw by Robinson. LaMotta, meanwhile, scoring with a left hook to the head of Sugar Ray. Robinson dances back, jabs with another left to the chin, then takes another pot shot at that chin with a left jab, putting another on the nose, and another left jab on the nose by Robinson, and he's just making use of that hard left hand now. And LaMotta finally catches up with Robinson, goes into a clinch, but it's tied up very effectively. LaMotta comes in, smack into another left jab, and then he pounds a right to the body of Robinson, and he tries to whirl Robinson around in the center of the ring. Ray lets him do it and dances away. Then LaMotta nails Robinson with a hard right hand under the heart. And then LaMotta coming in, tries a left hook to the body. They go into a clinch and tie each other up. Robinson, as Bill told you, is a beautiful boxer to behold in there. There's LaMotta coming in. He's very much in the fight, however. He gets away from a left jab, comes in close, pounding three rights to the ribs of Robinson in the infighting, and he hooks the left to the head of Ray Robinson. Robinson then jabs the left hand of the nose and thinks with the right hand to throw an uppercut, but doesn't throw it. LaMotta coming in, sticks out his elbow to parry those blows and runs smack into another left jab on the chin. Robinson faints with the left hand. LaMotta, the aggressor, comes in, hooks the left high on the head of Robinson. And Robinson coming in, hooks the left and fires the right to the jaw and is nailed with the right to the head. And Robinson opens up, hooking a hard left to the jaw, following with a right uppercut to the chin of LaMotta. Robinson backs into his own corner and he does, hooks another left to the jaw. LaMotta then comes in, hooking his own left hand to the chin of Robinson. One minute in this round, and Robinson beats LaMotta to the punch with a sharp right to the jaw and puts two more left jabs on the nose of Jacob LaMotta. And Robinson takes the right to the body and brings up his own right to the jaw again, puts another left jab on the chin of LaMotta. LaMotta stalks him across the ring and finally catches up with Ray in a clinch, pounding three rights to the ribs and hooking a left hand high on the head. Now they're parted by the referee, Eddie Joseph, and Robinson goes back to jabbing, putting two more lefts on the chin and crossing a right to the jaw, hooking another left to the jaw, and driving LaMotta back with a left and a right to the head. LaMotta staggered for a moment and then moved into a clinch and then started in pursuit of Robinson again. Robinson backing away is making effective use of a hard left jab. There's another one on the nose, and there's LaMotta firing a wild right to the body and hooking a left to the chin of Robinson. Robinson then takes a left jab on the chin, and there's a right to the body by Robinson, partially blocked by LaMotta, and again they go into a clinch. There's a hard right to the head by Robinson, beating LaMotta to the punch and a left hook to the jaw by Sugar Ray. And this is Robinson's best round, but LaMotta keeps after him, hooks the left to the jaw, and drives Robinson into the ropes with a left and a right to the body at the bell. Stay tuned for round four of Robinson LaMotta 4 when Bill Caton's primetime boxing continues. Bob Page welcoming you back once again to Robinson Lamata 4 here on Primetime Boxing. And here once again is Bill Cade. Sugar Ray Robinson and Jake Lamata were both undefeated as amateur boxers. 
Jake was 21 and 0, winning the 175 pound diamond belt in 1940. Sugar Ray was 85 and 0, with 69 KOs, 40 in the first round, winning the New York and Intercity featherweight titles in 1939, and the same titles at lightweight in 1940, the most spectacular amateur career in boxing history. Now let's return to the fight, round four of Robinson Lamata Four on Primetime Boxing. There's the bell for round four. The boys move out in the center again, and Lamata tries a left hand to the head. It's blocked by Robinson. And then Ray puts a light left jab on the chin. Backs away with two more left. They're short of the mark, and Lamata comes in. Rips home a hard left to the head. Lamata is stalking Robinson, and Ray is backing away, but fighting hard as he backs away. They go into a clinch, and Lamata is now waving at Robinson to come in and fight. And Robinson obliges with a left and a right to the head, which La Lamata seems to like because he rips his own left to the head. And there's a terrific right to the jaw by Robinson. And now left hook to the head, and Ray is obliging as he drives Lamata back from him. That was as hard a right as I've ever seen Robinson throw. But Lamata took it without a blink of his eyes. And now he hooked his own left to the head. Lamata's face is very red indeed, but he's coming after Robinson, following him. Now he jabs the left hand to the chin. Robinson cuts that right hand, ready to fire it. He's short with a left lead. Lamata comes in very slowly, hunching behind his shoulders, jabs the left to the chin, and Robinson again beats him to the punch with a left hook to the jaw and a sharp right just above the left eye of Lamata. There's a left jab, two more left jabs by Robinson on the head of Lamata, and a sharp right to the jaw. And then Robinson dances around Lamata and comes up on the other side. Jake is coming in very slowly now, taking a left on the chin, trying to get in close to make use of that weight advantage and perhaps his superior hitting power. He hooks the left hand high on the head of Robinson. Then Robinson beats the body with a sharp right hand. Lamata dances in and out for a moment, then goes back into pursuit. Robinson is moving around, but he's hitting a plenty, believe me. He goes into a clinch and takes a light right to the body, another right to the body by Lamata. Clinch broken by the referee. Robinson backs under Lamata's corner, moves around the ring, gets away from a long right hand and tender for the body. Robinson gets away from a right thrown at his head, and he takes a left hook high on the head thrown by Lamata. Lamata comes in. There's Robinson missing a left hand and bringing up a left uppercut to the chin of Lamata and stabbing away with a left jab on the nose. And Lamata throwing a wild right at the head, which is easily blocked by Robinson. Robinson dancing up and down. Lamata makes Robinson miss with a wild left hand, and then they go into a clinch. One minute remaining in this. Round four of a ten-rounder at the Garden. Robinson jabs with the left and blocks a long left hook thrown at his head by Lamata. There's a left jab to the chin by Lamata. One of the few jabs that Jake has thrown in this bout so far. Lamata comes in very slowly, bobbing and waving. And Robinson comes in, beating him to the punch with a sharp right to the rib. Again, they go into a clinch and they're parted by the referee. And again, Lamata waves at Robinson to come in and fight. And that wasn't very healthy the last time. Lamata then hooks the left hand to the head. And Robinson, going into a clinch, takes a sharp right to the rib. Robinson coming out of the clinch, pounds the right to the body, stabs with the left to the jaw. Lamata finds the head with a, a looping left hook to the chin and is driven back with a left hook to the jaw by Robinson. And Robinson staggers Lamata, first with a right uppercut and a left hook to the jaw. Lamata was staggered with a left hand, he staggered with two more. But Lamata comes back fighting and drives Robinson into the ropes with a left hook. They don't hear the bell, nobody hears it, only the lights show that the bell has ended the round. The ropes may have saved Jake LaMotta from going down for the first time in his career when Robinson nailed him with that left hook. Stay tuned. Round five of Robinson LaMotta 4 is coming up on Bill Caden's Primetime Boxing. Welcome back to Primetime Boxing. Bill? Jake LaMotta took a frightful beating on the ropes in that fourth round, yet came back to land a good left hook to Robinson's jaw near the end of the round. Jake later claimed that he just would not let Ray have the satisfaction of knocking him down. No one, in fact, ever had Jake LaMotta on the canvas until Danny Nardico put him there in 1952, and Jake did not stay down. Here's round five of Robinson LaMotta 4 on Primetime Boxing. Round five. Now let's see if the boys can pick up where they left off. The crowd, as you can tell, is in a bedlam. And Lamata misses the left hook thrown at the head. Robinson, the picture boxer, jabs twice to the chin with the left hand. Puts another left on the nose. And Lamata, who loves to fight, tries to get in close, taking another left jab and still another. Then Lamata faints with the right hand, doesn't throw it, takes two more left jabs on the chin. 
Lamata is working his way in, trying to get in close. He takes the right hand of the body. Robinson is never stopping for a moment, moving all the time. Now Lamata gets in close and rips a hard right to the ribs. And a grazing left hook, which bounces harmlessly off the chin of Robinson. Then Lamata comes in with a hard right hand to the body, takes two more left on the chin. Lamata catching up with Robinson, pounds a left and a right to the body. But then he's tied up. And Lamata is wild, first with a left and then with a right, thrown at the chin. Then Lamata fires a right hand to the body. Lamata throwing more punches than he did in any previous round, but all of them aren't landing. They exchange hard left jabs out in the center, and Robinson returns a right to the body of Lamata. Lamata goes in close. Robinson pushes him away. Robinson fires a long, looping right hand, landing high on the head of Lamata. Then a left jab on the chin of Jake from the Bronx. Lamata coming in slowly, is nabbed with two hard left jabs by Robinson. Then Lamata jabs his own left to the chin, a sharp right drives Lamata back out in the center. But he resumes his pursuit, running smack into another left jab. Lamata coming in close again, takes two more lefts to the head. Now Lamata catches up with Robinson, fires the left hand to the body, but Robinson ties him up in close. Robinson dances up and down, always on the move. He jabs the left hand, takes the right to the body, brings in his own right to the body in the end fighting. The clinch broken, they box at long range once again. There's Lamata swinging wildly with a right which reaches the ribs of Robinson. And again a clinch, and again the parting by the referee. One minute remaining in this round. Robinson in with a sharp left jab on the chin. Fires another left jab, it's short of the mark. Robinson misses the left hand and blocks the left hook thrown at his midsection. Robinson dances up and down, so does Lamata. Now Lamata saunters in and is and met with a sharp right to the ribs. And the boys go into a clinch and tie each other up. Lamata comes in very slowly. Robinson is wild with a left hand thrown over the head. Lamata goes down deep into a bob and a weave, takes two smacking left jabs to the forehead, and a sharp right to the body thrown by Robinson. Then Lamata coming in, throws a left hook at the head, and it's blocked by Robinson. Robinson throws a right which grazes the cheekbone following a left jab, and there's a hard left hook to the head thrown by Robinson. Lamata comes in, takes another left jab on the nose. Lamata gets in, works on the body with a left and a right. And Robinson then backs away, pecking with that left jab on the nose. There's a hard right to the body by Lamata. He's trying to slow Robinson down with a body attack. But more than half are not landing. Lamata is wild with a left hand over the head. And they go into a clinch and tie each other up. Robinson dances back out of range, then he's wild with a left hand, but Robinson comes back with two sharp left hooks to the head, another left hook and a right cross to the jaw by Robinson, a sharp right to the head by Robinson, that's the bell. Stay tuned, round six is just ahead of Robinson Lamata 4 on Bill Caton's Primetime Boxing. Welcome back to Sugar Ray Robinson versus Jake LaMotta. Bout four on Bill Caton's Primetime Boxing. The referee for this bout, Eddie Joseph, was no stranger to great fights. In 1941, Joseph had worked the legendary Louis Kahn World Heavyweight title bout in which champion Joe Louis, behind on all three scorecards after 12 rounds, knocked out the challenger, Billy Kahn, in round 13. Eddie Joseph was well known to Robinson and LaMotta having worked three of LaMotta's 55 previous pro bouts and at least one of Sugar Ray Robinson's 54 bouts to this point. This is round six of Robinson LaMotta 4 on Primetime Boxing. Back in action out in the center of the ring, a left hook at the head is blocked by Robinson, then he takes the right to the body and jabs with the left to the chin. Lamada bullying his way forward, is wild with the left hand, then he puts the left jab on the chin. Lamada is coming in very fast, he hooks the left to the head of uh, Robinson, puts the light right hand to the body, and Robinson scores with the left jab on the chin. Another left jab on the chin by Robinson, and one to the chin by Lamada. Then Lamada going in close, pounds three right hands to the body before he's tied up by Robinson. Robinson goes back into action with that winging left jab on the nose, and then he takes an overhand right to the head thrown by Lamata. Lamata jabs with the left hand of the nose and gets away from a left jab by Robinson. But he doesn't get away from another left jab which lands on his forehead. Then Lamata coming in. Rips home a left swing and another right to the head and another left hand to the body and a left jab to the chin by Lamata. That's Lamata's best rally of the fight so far. He brings up a short right to the jaw of Robinson and Robinson returns a right to the head. Then Robinson hooks the left to the head but it's blocked by Lamata's right glove. They move around in the center. Lamata dances in, hooks a light left hand to the chin of Robinson, and takes a right uppercut to the jaw, but Robinson is met with a body attack, a left and a right, and another right to the ribs by Lamata. Then Lamata works his left and right to the body, hooks the left to the jaw, nails Robinson with another left and a right to the head, but Robinson is boxing beautifully on the rope, carrying, rolling with the blows. Finally, he's met with a right. 
That's as beautiful a bit of defensive boxing as we've ever seen. LaMotta must have fired 50 punches, and only about five of them landed on Robinson. Nevertheless, it was LaMotta's best rally of the fight. Robinson just stood there, parrying and rolling with those blows. LaMotta comes out in the center, fires a right hand to the body. Robinson backs near the ropes, taking a left jab and putting a left jab on the nose of LaMotta. Another left jab to the nose by Robinson. Then LaMotta comes in, plants his left hook to the body, jabs the left to the head, puts another left jab on the chin of Robinson, but misses a wild left over Robinson's head. Robinson is much the taller of the two. He jabs the left to the chin. LaMotta rings in a, a right to the body and takes a right uppercut to the ribs thrown by Robinson. Robinson may have slowed down just a little bit from that body attack. Some of them must have hurt him, but he dances around, rubs his gloves together out in the center, faints with the left hand, puts the left on the chin, then he hooks a hard left and another left to the jaw, and a right to the head by Robinson, who suddenly opens up. He rips home another right to the jaw, and a left hook, and a long right to the head by Robinson. But Lamada dances back, hooking his own left to the chin. The best round of the fight by far. There's Robinson opening up a right cross and a left hook to the jaw. But Lamada coming back, hooking his own left to the head of Robinson. And a right and a left to the body. And another right and a left to the body by Jake Lamada. Lamada's coming after Robinson. He hooks another left to the head. Hooks another harder left to the head of Robinson. Robinson dances away. Jabs with his left. And the light of Robinson was in trouble for a moment. He comes back swinging with his left hook. The bell. That sixth round was Lamada's best. Stay tuned for round seven of Sugar Ray Robinson versus Jake LaMotta, bout four, when we return on Primetime Boxing. Welcome once again to Robinson LaMotta 4 on Bill Caden's Primetime Boxing. When Madison Square Garden honored Sugar Ray Robinson with a special night on his retirement from boxing on December 10, 1965, Randy Turpin, Bobo Olson, Gene Fulman, and Carmen Basilio were flown in for the occasion, Turpin all the way from England. But Jake LaMotta, the man Ray had beaten to win the middleweight crown for the first time, the first fighter to defeat Ray in the pros, and the man universally regarded as his greatest foe was not invited. LaMotta was considered persona non grata in boxing because he'd confessed to throwing a fight. But 14 years later, Jake LaMotta achieved a new celebrity status with the release of Martin Scorsese's magnificent film version of his autobiography, The Raging Bull. Today, Jake LaMotta is as famous as Ray Robinson. My friends, it is a funny world indeed. Here's round seven of Robinson LaMotta 4 on Primetime Boxing. Out in action in the center of the ring once again. Robinson with a left jab on the chin. Gets away from a left hook thrown at his head by LaMotta. Robinson jabs twice with a left to the nose. And LaMotta, the hungry fighter of the two, comes back swinging with a wild left hand, which is short. Then LaMotta is wild with another left hook. And he runs smack into three left jabs to the chin by Robinson. Then LaMotta comes in and bulls his way with a hard right to the ribs and gets away from a right uppercut thrown by Robinson. Robinson moving around the center, puts a left jab to the cheekbone of LaMotta. Now the boys go into a clinch, and they're parted immediately by the referee. This has been a very clean fight here in the garden before a packed house. LaMotta faints with the right hand, doesn't throw it, and then comes in, hooks twice, hard left hand to the body of Robinson. Then two left jabs by LaMotta, find the mark. And Robinson then keeps him off with his own left jab twice. But LaMotta comes back to the attack, ripping a left hand to the ribs of Robinson. There's a short right to the jaw by LaMotta, and a left jab by LaMotta to the head, and Robinson misses the left hook. But Ray is back in with two left jabs and a right cross to the chin of LaMotta. And LaMotta goes in and holds on for a moment, getting a deep breath of air. Robinson dances up and down, puts a left jab on the nose, another left jab to the nose by Robinson, and LaMotta is short with a right hand. He runs smack into another left hand, and Robinson, working on the body, rips the left and a right under the heart. There's a left jab to the chin by Robinson, another left jab by Robinson, and LaMotta seems to, seems to have slowed down a lot in this round. He takes two more left jabs and a long right, and then another left jab on the nose, and still another left jab by Robinson, who makes LaMotta miss with a left hook over his head. LaMotta coming in close, is beaten to the punch with a left hand to the chin, a hard left jab. Now they go into a clinch and they're parted by the referee. Robinson comes back to the attack with a left jab, then he takes a light left on the nose, and LaMotta rushes into a clinch where he's tied up. LaMotta comes in, he's wild with a left hook over the head of Robinson. Then LaMotta jabs with the left to the chin and is driven back with two sharp rights to the head and a left jab by Robinson. And then Robinson goes into a clinch and again the boys tie each other up. 
Eddie Joseph gets him apart. There's LaMotta, wild with a right, intended for the chance. Wild with a left, took over the head. And driven back with a left, took and a right cross. Another left, took and another right cross by Robinson. Then a left jab by Robinson. And LaMotta rips the right to the head. But Robinson goes back with three sharp left hands to the chin. All jabs. Then LaMotta nails him with a left, took high on the head. Robinson comes back to the attack with a left jab. Another left jab on the nose. LaMotta stands his ground, comes in, gets back from a right uppercut, which is meant at his chin. And Robinson is wild with a terrific left hook. Then Robinson comes in with a short right to the jaw. And LaMotta has done very little indeed in this round. LaMotta bides his time, takes a left jab on the head. LaMotta comes in very slowly, rips a short left at the chin. It's short, too short, in fact. And then he takes a left jab on the nose. LaMotta coming in, rips a, a right to the head and takes a right to the head by Robinson. And Robinson comes in with a hard right uppercut under the heart at the bell. Coming up, round eight of Sugar Ray Robinson versus Jake LaMotta, about four on Bill Caden's Primetime Box. Bob Page welcoming you back once again to Robinson LaMotta 4 on Primetime Boxing. Let's rejoin Bill Caden. At the official weigh-in for this bout, Jake LaMotta asked New York State Athletic Commission Chairman Eddie Egan if aggressiveness would be the main factor in scoring. You will have a lot to do with it, was all Egan would say. Nothing was said about effective aggressiveness, the scoring factor Egan had stressed since his appointment in January. If aggressiveness was all there was to boxing, Jake LaMotta would never have lost a fight. The legendary Don Dunphy is again at the microphone. Here's round eight of Robinson LaMotta, about four. Third man in the ring is Eddie Joseph, the referee. Robinson jabs with the left eye on the head, takes a looping right hand at the body, and then is met with a sharp right cross to the jaw, following a left jab by LaMotta. LaMotta then takes a left jab on the chin, and there's another winging right to the head thrown by LaMotta. He's fighting Ray with that right hand now. Then he hooks the left hand to the jaw of Robinson. Robinson backs away slowly, jabbing twice with the left to the chin, and bringing in a right uppercut to the body, which is partially blocked by LaMotta. LaMotta bides his time now. He's been throwing that short right to the head and landing with it in this round. He gets back from a long right, which grazes his chin, and Robinson dances in and out. Robinson ja there jabs him with a left on the nose. Another left jab by Robinson. And a short left took to the head by LaMotta. And LaMotta jabs the left to the chin. He's wild with the left hand over Robinson's head. And the boys go into a clinch and very neatly tie each other up. They move around the center again. Two minutes remaining in this round. LaMotta jabs twice with the chin with the left. And is wild with the right over Robinson's head. In close, LaMotta pounds a short right to the rib. Robinson is short with a left jab, then he brings a hard right to the jaw, and a left hook to the head of LaMotta. And LaMotta, going in close, rips a left and a right to the body. Another right to the ribs by LaMotta, all in the infighting. The referee gets him apart. Robinson dances over near the ropes, moves out in the center with a left jab on the forehead. Locks the left hook at his head by LaMotta. LaMotta short with another left hook, and he's ripped with a left hook and a right cross by Robinson. Then LaMotta files a wild right at the head. It's short. Then he brings up a shorter right hand to the head of Ray Robinson. LaMotta jabs the left to the chin, brings in a sharp right to the jaw of Robinson, and LaMotta moving in close, pounds the right to the ribs. The boys break without being told by the referee. They move out in the center, and Robinson is in with an old one-two again, a left jab and a right cross to the chin of LaMotta. LaMotta going in close, pounds his right to the ribs of Robinson once again. LaMotta jabs the left hand to the chin, as well with another left, and rips a short right to the jaw of Robinson. Robinson puts two more, three left jabs on the nose, and a right to the body by Robinson. LaMotta goes in and is ripped with another right to the body. Then LaMotta going back into action, scores with first to right, and then a left to the body, and a left jab on the chin of Robinson, and a sharp right to the jaw by LaMotta, one of his best blows of the fight, and another right to the jaw by LaMotta, and still another lands for LaMotta, as he bats Robinson across the ring, and takes a cut shot at the chin. Robinson took that that blow a hard right to the jaw and came back with a right to the body and a left jab. LaMotta is finding the head with that right hand, which makes him dangerous now. He puts the right to the ribs of Robinson, and Robinson fires a hard right to the head of LaMotta and a right to the body. Then the boys go into a clinch. About 20 seconds remaining in this round. Robinson in with two left hooks to the head, and LaMotta scoring with a left hand to the body. LaMotta comes across the ring toward our microphone, jabbing a left and pounding a sharp right to the jaw of Robinson. Robinson then comes in with a hard right to the body, and the boys are putting all they have in their punches now. They go into a short clinch, break it immediately, and then Robinson jabs the left to the nose at the bell. Stay tuned for round nine of Sugar Ray Robinson versus Jake LaMotta, bout four, right here on Bill Caton's Primetime Boxing.
We're back with more of Robinson LaMotta 4 on Primetime Boxing. Here's round nine. Here we are, round nine, two rounds to go, and LaMotta coming in with a hard left hand to the body, then plants a right to the ribs of Robinson. Robinson box, boxing again, puts a left jab on the nose, takes a looping right high on his head, and a left jab by LaMotta. LaMotta's coming in very fast now, but he's met with two more left jabs on the nose, thrown out by Ray Robinson. Then LaMotta getting the left jab idea, puts two on the nose of Robinson. And LaMotta is pushed away as he tried to get in close by Robinson. LaMotta out jabbing again, three left jabs on the nose. Then a left hook for good measure, and another left jab and then a right to the body by Robinson. But these are rather light blows thrown out by Sugar Ray, and LaMotta doesn't seem to mind them. Now LaMotta goes in close and puts a series of short lefts and rights to the body before they're broken by the referee. There's a left jab on the nose by LaMotta. Robinson dances up and down with a left jab on the nose. Another left jab by Robinson. A sharp right to the head by Robinson. A left jab, a left hook by Robinson. And LaMotta comes out with his own left jab on the chin. Now Robinson is outscoring the boy from the Bronx about five or six to one. There's a left jab by Robinson right on the chin. A right by Robinson to the body. Then LaMotta going in close. Pounds three, four, five rights to the ribs of Ray Robinson. The boys are in a bit of a clinch now and they're having trouble getting separated. And then LaMotta comes back with two left jabs on the chin of Robinson. They go into another clinch, and Robinson breaks it by getting out of it. Robinson dances away. He's short with a left lead. LaMotta himself is short with a left lead. They go in close, break again, and LaMotta beats Robinson to the punch with a left jab on the chin and a long right to the ribs by LaMotta and a swinging right to the head by LaMotta. And he makes Robinson miss with a long left hook intended for his head. Then LaMotta is wild with a right intended for the jaw, wild with another right, and nabbed with a left jab on the chin. Robinson throws a right hand which winds around LaMotta's neck. A little more than a minute to go in this round. A light left hook on the chin by LaMotta. And Robinson scores with a right upper cut to the head. But LaMotta comes in, blocks the left hook thrown at his body. Then he takes a left jab on the chin. And LaMotta pounds two rights to the rib. Takes the left hook on the jaw. Brings up a short left to the head. And the boys wrestle each other around in close. Yes, they do like to fight. There's Robinson feinting with a right hand and taking a left hook on the jaw and bringing up a right uppercut. Two more left hooks to the jaw by Robinson, but LaMotta, if they bother him, shows no sign of it. He comes in with two left hooks to the head of Robinson and hurts Ray with a left jab, smack on the chin. Robinson dances back, pecks away with a light left jab on the nose, and there's a hard left hook to the jaw. The hardest left hand thrown by LaMotta tonight, and it nailed Robinson flush on the chin. LaMotta is a bit right hand crazy now. He's wild with the right, but he scores with a left under right to the rib and a light left jab on the chin and a hard left hook and a left jab and a wild left swing all by LaMotta and they all score on Robinson's head and LaMotta nails Robinson with a right to the jaw Robinson fights back with a right to the head and a left hook to the jaw and now there's no question that LaMotta does take the better punch of the two but Robinson opens up with a right uppercut to the head another right to the jaw by Robinson and LaMotta nails him with a left and a right to the jaw at the bell Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of Sugar Ray Robinson versus Jake LaMotta, bout four, on Bill Caden's Primetime Boxing. Welcome back once again to Robinson versus LaMotta on Bill Caden's Primetime Boxing. Bill? Sugar Ray Robinson was known in boxing as a fighter and not easy for promoters to deal with. Sugar Ray liked money, and he always wanted more. But Robbie gave a share of his purse of this fight to the Hearst Fund for Disabled War Veterans and said he would continue to donate until he had contributed $25,000. Quite a sum in the mid-1940s. Here's the 10th and final round of Robinson LaMotta 4 on Primetime Boxing. Final round of the bout and Robinson goes to jabbing with a left on the nose. And there's LaMotta coming in with two sharp left jabs to the nose of Robinson. Robinson is in with another left jab, and he's short with one. And he takes a left hook on the head by LaMotta, who definitely is out for a knockout and is throwing caution to the winds. And LaMotta rips a hard right to the ribs. Robinson going in close, ties him up after taking another right to the ribs by LaMotta. Then Robinson puts a sharp left jab on the nose. Robinson feints with the left hand, doesn't throw it, brings up a right upper cut on the chin of LaMotta. And LaMotta going in close, pounds his right to the ribs. They go into a clinch, and they're parted by the referee. Robinson dancing around, backs into the ropes. LaMotta coming after him, rips a right to the head, pounds another right to the ribs. Now they mix it in close. Robinson firing rights to the body and taking rights to the ribs from LaMotta. LaMotta throws a long left hook, which is blocked by Robinson's glove. Then LaMotta scores with a left jab and then takes a right and a left hook on the head from Robinson. Robinson dancing up and down, puts another sharp left to the nose. And LaMotta going in close, pounds three rights to the ribs. A left hook to the head by LaMotta in the end fighting. 
and Robinson finally ties him up and backs into a neutral corner. LaMotta cuts the right hand, ready to fire it, moves away from a left jab, comes in, moves away from another left jab, then takes the left jab on the nose. LaMotta is wild with the right, then he puts the right to the ribs. He throws the right to the jaw, throws another right, and both miss as Robinson rolls with those blows and then goes into a clinch. A minute and a half remaining of the fight. Robinson, wild with a right uppercut, takes a left jab on the chin. LaMotta saunters in, goes into a clinch, and Robinson, while in the clinch, looks up at the clock and sees how much time to go. LaMotta throws out a left hook, it's short, then he's wild with a right hand, and Robinson coming in, puts a left and a right to the body, and a left jab on the nose by Robinson. LaMotta cuts the right, ready to fire, and throws the left hand over the head, and Robinson again goes into a clinch, where LaMotta pounds the ribs with a right hand. LaMotta is wild with a right, and he's met with a left hook, and another left hook to the head by Robinson, and another left hook by Robinson, and LaMotta goes into a clinch now, and they tie each other up. One minute remaining in the fight. One minute. Finally, LaMotta brings that right hand over Robinson's left and plants it on the chin. In close, LaMotta scores with three left hands to the body. But LaMotta is wild with another right. And then Robinson beats him to the punch with a sharp right to the jaw. Again into a clinch. And again the parting by the referee. Robinson backs into a neutral corner. LaMotta comes after him. Rips the left hook on the jaw. But Robinson goes into a clinch and ties him up. Robinson brings up a right up a cut to the head. Drives LaMotta back with two sharp left hooks to the head. And LaMotta coming in and grips with another right to the jaw and a right up a cut and a left and a right to the head by Robinson Stagger LaMotta but he comes back fighting this game still from the Browns and there's a left hook to the jaw by LaMotta and a left jab by LaMotta and a left hook to the head by Robinson and again Robinson looks at the clock and rips home a left hook another left hook to the jaw Robinson throws a right to the head and is pounded with a right to the rib and Robinson is tired from his own punching and still they battle at the bell now let's go to ring announcer Johnny Addy for the official decision Referee Eddie Joseph scored six rounds for Robinson and four rounds for LaMotta. Judge Bill Healy votes six rounds for Robinson, three rounds for LaMotta, one round even. Judge Jack Gordon votes seven rounds for Robinson, two rounds even, one round for LaMotta, and the winner by unanimous decision is Robinson. There was no disputing the decision in favor of Robinson. Sugar Ray had hit Jake with every punch he had. And Sugar Ray Robinson had every punch in the book. Sugar Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta would fight twice more. Robinson winning a 12-round split decision in Chicago's Comiskey Park on September 26, 1945, and then stopping LaMotta at 204 of round 13 to win the world middleweight title at Chicago Stadium on February 14, 1951. Even then, battered from all angles, Jake would not go down. What kept him up? Toughness and pride. Jake was what they used to call a fighter. That's it for this edition of the show. Thanks for joining us. On behalf of Bill, this is Bob Page inviting you to tune in next time for another edition of Bill Caton's Primetime Boxing, where you, the listener,